Universal basic income is the idea of giving everyone a lump sum of cash, no questions asked. For us, it's really about reconceptualizing how we think about what it means to be human. Support for this fringe idea had been growing in recent years, and then everything changed. The coronavirus is the biggest threat this country has faced for decades. Worst GDP for 300 years. That's the breaking news from the Bank of England. These are tough times and there will be more to come. Thousands of people lost their jobs as the economy crashed because of the coronavirus pandemic and support for a basic income increased. But it is an idea that time has come. More than 100 UK MPs have called for a recovery basic income to help people in this crisis. I don't think universal basic income is the right uh, response to this. So, could this actually work? No one seems to agree on a definition for universal basic income, so we asked Sky's economic editor Ed Conway to help out. So universal basic income is, well, the clue is in the name, essentially Everyone in the country, universal, would get a payment, a basic income paid by the government. It might not be very much, uh, but the idea is uh, that that could give you a certain standard of living uh, and if you need to work, you can, uh, but you don't necessarily have to. And there are various different conceptions about how it will work. Uh, some people think that it goes on top of your existing system of uh, benefits. Other people think that it's a brand new thing. You throw out everything at the moment and you have this simple universal basic income paid to everyone. It is a radical idea and one that economists have often dismissed as unrealistic, too expensive and a distraction from actually improving our system. It is conveyed as though it's a, a silver bullet that will answer all our problems and we don't really believe in silver bullets. We need more policy measures than just one to um, tackle issues like en um, unemployment and poverty and inequality. The virus tanked the global economy. The UK went into recession with millions claiming universal credit over the summer. Chancellor, how are you planning to pay for all of this? The government has spent billions trying to support people affected by the crisis on things like furlough, the self-employment income support scheme and the job retention scheme. But some people think that a form of basic income is a better way of helping in the long term. I mean, in essence, what's going to happen is that people are going to be short of income uh, over the course of this crisis. And we need to make sure that we can inject spending into the economy. And so therefore, the reason to have a recovery basic income is to make sure that it becomes easy for people to participate in economic activity, quite simply to make sure that people have the money in their pocket in order to pay for the essentials. 